Hi, welcome. If you're new, welcome back if you've been here before. As you know about me, I don't like to just film videos to film videos. So the last time I think that I was on, I'd been talking about the fire over there. And um, so from that, it gave me an idea because we've been spending so much money on propane to heat this. And um, it's, it's gotten even more expensive. So I got an idea from that was, was actually to buy her a um, wood burning stove. So that's what we're actually installing. We've got a good bit of it already put in. I mean, how many people really want to watch a wooden stove installation? Is it ins no, it's installation? So I decided to wait till we're almost ready. Now it's been a lot of work in the making, and Mr. B's actually done a lot. And some of you may not know I'm I am disabled, so. I can't do a lot of it, but he, he does. So I'm going to show you what we have so far. So just bear with me and I'll flip you around and you can see how far we've gotten. Because we're almost to the point we're getting ready to light the stove, which I think will be way better than what we've had. So just hold on, bear with me and I'll flip you around. So as you can see, We've got in the fire backer board, I guess you would call it. I'm not real sure. If somebody knows, comment down below. We've got the little thing that goes to the wall. I don't know what any of this is called. So, please tell me. Mr. B no more about it. But he's outside making a fitting. And that leads to the outside. And that's where our stove pipe will go up. There it is. And what we did, because... Wood burning stoves, you can either get them or, you know, brand new, which I wasn't too keen about. And you can tell we're not ready to light yet. We have all this stuff on here. Or you can, you can sometimes find them. And I think this one's really neat. But it looks like, let me back up. This one is old and stout. That's got double doors. And then he put some some kind of rock or brick down to make it safe. And you can see that there. I don't know what kind of it's not exactly fire brick, but some type of rock. But it is like a big size stove. It doesn't even fit fully in the camera when I'm on it. I'm keep trying to back up so y'all can see it. And I know it looks crooked. I'm trying to uncrooked it. it. See if I can do it. I'm having to hold the phone crooked to get it straight. But I think that is going to be way more efficient for us. And then once that's cleared off, the other thing I like about it is you can actually cook on it. Which, which is to me is cool. So that's doing double duty, and that also gets rid of our little propane camp stove that's gone. So that way, all we have to do is go get wood, which we already have some. And then we'll go in there. Mr. B's here. Maybe he can tell you more what things are called. Well, like what kind of, I was telling our audience kind of that, after the fire, what happened? And I came up with the idea of getting a wood stove because the propane was so expensive, Mister B. And but I don't, you know that. And I said backer that, board, concrete board, backer concrete board, and that is double walled the, chimney pipe. Double walled chimney That's pipe. An extension, twelve inch extension going out to a, a three foot riser okay. wall thimble. Okay. Stove pipe. A stove, stove pipe, and we we couldn't. I don't know what kind of rocks they are, but they're pretty fireproof. But I did, I couldn't remember the name of them. Rocks. Rocks. He just calling them rocks. But this, this is what we came up with. So, and you actually got this where, Mister B? What? From an auction, at auction. At an auction, which was way cheaper than buying it brand new. So you can always do things more cheaply when 
you look around. I mean, if you don't have to pay full price for something, don't. And that's even, you know, even if you're not building a tiny house. You know, just to save yourself money in this economy. Don't pay full price if you don't have to. Just make sure that it's in good working condition. I'm not saying that. Don't go just get a piece of junk that you can't fix. Unless you know somebody who will fix it for you, of course. But don't buy a piece of junk. But do look at all your different options. So, but within the long run, we figure with the price of propane that we're spending, that this, by far, would completely pay for itself within a month or two with winter coming on. So we're getting closer. We're bringing the water in. Got the little kindling. Got some of the log. Big log. Hey, still got tools up there. <coughs> well, now we're building the fire. Everybody does those a little different, I guess. Oh no. Got that kindling going in. Oh, well, I see. I'm kind of excited. See what's going to happen. Might not be exciting for you. But it's exciting for me. It's just some cardboard. You're all open. That's Mr. B's head in the way. I'll be excited not to be paying. I don't know how much. Twenty-five dollars a day. No, it's more than twenty-five. More like thirty dollars a day. It's outrageous. Catch up. Catch up for a minute. Quit smoking here in a second. Okay. I see it crack where it's smoking from. Huh? Right there. It'll put it in a minute. I have to get some uh, high temperature. What's my thought? I got, actually, I got a little bit. You of have energy. some in a tube. Yeah, wherever it's at. Okay, so the stove's all in, and as you can see, Mr. B's cooking supper. It is going to be ham, eggs, and biscuits. And I'm already heating my water for the wash up. Let me get a little closer. I don't want to get too close. There's the ham. Water's already going to boil. There's the biscuits. But that's how you do it. I think mean, that's cool. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for joining me. And y'all have a good night. 
and we'll see y'all next time. Bye.